Hi, this is my fourth progress video on the launching girder that is used on the new two mile long Colm Valley Viaduct in Hillingdon, West London for HS2 Railway from London to Birmingham. It runs from the Copwall Cut and Cover Tunnel across the Colm Valley to the Chiltern Tunnel. The launching girder, called Dominique after its designer, started from the north of the valley in the spring of 2022 and is now nearing the end of its journey 30 months later or two and a half years. It has crossed the A412 North Orbital Road and the Moorhill Road and the Corda and Save Lakes as well as the Grand Union Canal. So we see that after crossing the Harefield Number 2 Lake, it crosses over what was Jews Farm and the uh, lane to reach the final landing, Pier Number 1, just before the Harville Road. The launching girder would have placed 1,000 concrete segments to form the viaduct, over 56 piers. I went to Harville Road to have a look. Here we are back at the Harvard Road to have a look at Dominique. Of course we have to look through the fence. So today I brought along my bike, which might help me get a good view. So it's very useful to bring a bike along. <laughs> so here we have a good view of Dominique. Uh, without the fence in the way, um, sitting on top of the viaduct with the section at the end, concrete segment. And as we pan round, we see a lot of backfilling going on with the diggers on the trackway. And as we pan round, we see the trackway going underneath the road in a bridge. And then into the copper tunnel, which is a cut and cover tunnel. So from the other side, we can see Dominique above piers number four and three. As we close in, we can see one of the concrete segments being lowered into place. And the Harville Road in the background where I was before. This is a close up of Pier 3 and the main front support leg with the temporary front leg hanging in front of the pier. From this photo we can see the metal frame placed in front of the pier while the two pier segments are placed and fixed down onto the top of the pier. Then the main front support leg is shown in this picture moving forward towards the fixed segments where it will sit and be bolted down. I am grateful to Keith of the Shilton Society for letting me use this uh, photograph and uh, grateful for his permission to use it. So here we see Dominique using one of its two travelling cranes moving the front segment forward the lifting girder had to be designed so that the segment could be lifted over both legs and the segment lifted in behind at the same time to keep the load on the pier balanced. I've speeded up this next section so you can see it working faster. This is the rear segment being lowered that will make up the six segments that will join up with the previous half span on pier number four. And we can see the end retaining wall of pier number one and the architectural shapes and language of the design. And looking towards London that's on the horizon, we can see the trackway and the underbridge on the Harville Road. And behind that, the entrance to Cophall Cut and Cover Tunnel with the spoil from the TBMs that's in the North Holt Tunnel 
making their way to London an old oak common. So, as Dominique nears the end of its journey across the Colne Valley, we wonder what's going to happen to it. I hope to do further videos on this amazing piece of engineering and to see all the finishings to the viaducts. Thank you for watching my video. I will leave information on groups and other YouTubers and HS2 Limited on the Colne Valley Viaduct in the description below.